Hi, Christine. Thanks for sending us in your math question today. I've written a question here, or sorry, I've written a picture here of you standing on a yeah, bluff here, they call it. And here's a lake down below. Um, so the kite kind of dives into the water here. Okay. And then they say the angle of depression. So the angle of depression always comes from the horizontal. Okay. So the angle of depression is this angle here from the horizontal down. Okay, so the angle of depression is 15 degrees. Okay, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a right triangle um, using this information. Okay, and then they tell us the length of the height of, of the, uh, the string of the kite here. So the kite is over here somewhere. So it's in the water, here's the kite. And then the string is 325. Uh, so what we want to do is set up an equation here, <clears throat> um, and they're asking for the height of the bluff. Now the height of the bluff is this distance here, but it's also this di distance here. Um, so if we uh, we want to use our trig uh, identities, so this is 15 degrees, this is opposite, and this is hypotenuse. So we're going to do sine because sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So sine of 15 degrees equals um, opposite, which in this case is x, and then divided by hypotenuse, which is 325. Okay, so we just times both sides by 325. Okay, so these cancel out. So x equals 325 sine of 15 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and plug that in on my calculator here. Um, and then we'll get a rough estimate of what our answer is. So let's see, sine of 15 sine times 325. So I get about 84.1. So that is the height of the bluff. All right, there's our answer. Thanks for sending us in your question, and we look forward to answering more of them in the future.